Hey everybody, we're back with some chess. Thanks for hanging around. As always, I, I, my ability to record chess peaks around Wednesday. Falls apart on the weekends. I'm going to checkmate you. Just kidding. Well, how sick would that have been, though? You know what? I'm willing. I've decided I'm willing. I, I prefer my position here. I think our positions are almost neutral. I think we're pretty much in the same spot. Except you've castled and I haven't. How does that happen? Doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem fair. Interesting. That's an interesting one. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I want this game to be fun, but I also don't want to lose due to um, me not understanding gaming. So, I think we want to keep the position symmetrical. We want to put our knight here. It, it obviously is not symmetrical anymore, but... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? For once, we're not really down on time. That's a new one. I'm going to come here just to, just to bother you. You're going to push me? I haven't decided whether or not I care yet. Our pawn structure is worse. Like, I think our opponent's got a better setup. Right, I could have taken your pawn there. That's very true. Is that the sort of thing that matters in chess? Taking someone's pawn? Well, in that case, how about we do it? What's the matter? Game's getting a little complicated, huh? What's wrong? I thought you was keeping it gangster. I don't know. Is the Sicilian defense gangster? I would love some thoughts on this. Hey, I also just realized something as well. Um, what's going on with uh, my knight? Where am I going to put that? Where am I going to put my knight? I see what's happening here. I need to do this, I think. I, kn I knew that was coming, but... Oh, I could have just taken this. Every time I get the opportunity to do it, I get so disappointed when, it doesn't, when I don't look at it. But now they have a pass pawn. Ah! Wait a minute. Maybe it's not so bad. We're precisely equal. But they have a pass pawn. But wait, I have two pass pawns that are connected. Hey, any endgame experts that could help me out here? I think, I think I prefer my position. Because this pawn is very hard to defend. I don't think that was the move because I can defend this one at the same time. They're going to be pushing that. That's okay because we're going to be pushing this. Doesn't matter. They need to stop this. Interesting. Now they need to stop this. But if they take here... Ooh, a little, sp little spicy move. You know what? I, gotta, I just got to say well done to you, sir. I got to tip my cap to you. I got to say you figured it out. It's a very even game. I think I'm still going to be up by a pawn, though. I take. I'm up by a pawn. I got to get myself out there, too. I don't think I can keep this pawn. It's not going to be easy anyway. I'm not going to offer a draw. I refuse. You put me in check. You're going to go over there. Put me in. Okay. Okay. I understand. Um, I'm going to thread in here. I think you put me in check anyway. You don't put me in check. You go there. Okay, in that case, I, I cover this pawn. Now I can get my rook a little bit more mobile. Force, force a swap or take this pawn. Both are horrible for my opponent. Neither? Okay, first I'm going to put you in check. Because I love having you on that side of the board. I would love it. They do win a pawn out of this, but we have such better king placement. Okay, don't run out of time. We need to force the swap. 
just to simplify our lives. Okay, I see, I see. Playing a little quick here. Playing a little fast and loose with it. You're running out of space. The rook is, is, is running out of space, man. Put me in check again, you piece. Go ahead. Not scared? You can take on this? Okay. I mean, honestly, if they want to, go ahead. If you want to do the exchange, then do the exchange. Obviously, they don't want to do the exchange. Don't run out of time. It's not even... Like, the thing is, this looks like it's such a complicated endgame. It's actually, like, so simple. What am I doing? That was not the right move. When I said it was simple, what I meant was it's impossible. It's the hardest endgame that's ever existed. Chess will never be the same. How are you stopping me? Please. 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 12 seconds. We're up on time. It's a draw. If they took me there, it's a draw. It's still a draw. We have to go here. Stop the draw. Ah, let's go! Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Come on. So out of respect, I'm not going to promote. And also, out of a fear that I might stalemate you. I thought, look, three mistakes, four blunders, one missed win. That's not great. But overall, we held on throughout that game. Even as the time crunch became very serious, we made some grievous errors, but we, we came through and we held it together. Interesting. It's a very interesting move you're about to do there. I do this. I get myself into a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> seem, I seem extremely overextended. Where are you going? Where am I going? Where's anybody going in this workaday world? Am I going to fee and kettle this bishop? I don't know. We're playing the Ponziani opening. 4d4, knight takes e4. In all sincerity. In all sincerity. Let's go sicko mode. It's just, it's such a weird opening right now. that I'm like, yeah, hold on. Go knight to e3. See if I care. And then... What about a tall bishop? Yeah, I don't even... I, I could not suggest that this makes any sense at all. But if a fianchetto is good, then certainly a super fianchetto has got to be even better, right? I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> on this one. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Um, my knight is on a6. This is inarguably worse than e3, I would say. Okay, I, I see you're going to try to push me around. Well, you will. Well, you will. I'm going to destroy my queenside pawn structure too. And I'm going to say no to ever castling. I'm going to say that I'm never going to castle. Well, we should take this. It's a great move. Where are you going next? Delightful. A lot of, lot of messed up stuff I don't want any part of here. I hate my position. <laughs> Let's do this. I want to protect the pawn and also get a discovered attack on the knight. I'm not suggesting it's good, by the way. Okay, we, oh, no, you do not take. How do we stop this nightmare that's approaching us from all sides? Um, this. Then this. We need this to be able to capture this if they take here. Otherwise, they got... Yeah, so we got we to gotta start pushing you back a little bit. We got we to gotta simplify the board. We might win this night. After all said and done, we might win this night. I'd like to take back where I said we were going to win the night. I don't think we're going to win this night.
check this out. <laughs> it's a very spicy move. It's very spicy. But I'm raising my chances of winning this night, I think. Because now... Oh, this doesn't win the night at all. I'm a fool. What if I do this, though? Where are you going to go? <laughs> it's so stupid and bad. I'm just trying to force the queen off of this diagonal. I want the material. Our king side is, is blown open, obviously. And then you're going to take here. And that's not great. That's not great for anybody. We're taking the knight, though. Because this is what we signed up for. Still pretty bad for us. Sure. Hey, what if, what if we did this instead, then? What if we just pinned this knight? The, the more material we could take off the board for their attack, the better our life is going to be. If they want to swap queens, oh, they actually gain a, a bishop in the process, don't they? <laughs> Turns out that is not an even trade. Turns out I've made a mistake. Turns out I'm, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not bulletproof. But check it out. M maybe we lost a piece, but did we or did we not gain a pawn? We didn't. That's good to know. I was previously unaware of that. And we're going to have a problem with this pawn, too. Okay. Um, well, let's just... I have 24 seconds left. Um, give everything you... Oh, I lost my rook. I resign. <laughs> Saved. We sh uh, I got uh, okay. I resigned. You you, you bested me. Honestly, you you're in a superior position for like the whole game. You you just outplayed me. That's someone who's on the ascendancy. That you know what they wanted to play spicy chess and the chess got spicy. This is the the Danish gambit of the center game. Perhaps you're familiar with it. I counter your gambit with a gambit of myself, the Sorensen defense. I don't know if you're familiar with with such a defense known as the Sorensen. It's not something the Jedi would teach you. I don't know where you're going after this. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Here's what I do know. That's a much tougher move now. Ah! Ah! Is this... I'm, did I just get YouTubed? Be honest with me. Have I been YouTubed? Let me guess. That was your next play. That's tough. I am up by three. Like, I'm up by a, a, a bishop, essentially. Was this not covered in the, in the Levy Rosman video? Well, being up by a piece, call me crazy. I would like to simplify the board a little bit. I see you're attacking this. My king will never get a chance to castle. It's, it's a sad story. I don't know where I'm going with this, but just hear me out. You know what? I, for a second, actually, I'm just going to pin that knight. I just don't like him. Don't castle. <laughs> okay, protect this spot. We're still up by a piece. We're only down a little bit on time. We got some moves. This is a move. Queen can't take our pawn. We move here. They move somewhere. Knight gets outposted fairly, fairly nicely right here. They're going to take my pawn in order to take my queen. Okay, it's an interesting move. Do you ever think about what would happen if I just took this pawn that's now undefended? You're just going to move back slightly. And then do you ever consider what would happen if I did this and I traded my queen uh, for a knight and then traded my knight for a queen? Bet not. Okay, uh, next step. Let's, this pawn's tough to defend. This pawn's tough to defend. Let's defend this pawn. It's interesting. It's in oh! Life is pain. That, that was meant to be a pawn capture. That hurts. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do this. You, have, you pretty much have to take here. And give me some solid control of this diagonal. I don't think this is law. Oh, that's horrendous. It's I resign. 
I just want to see something. First off, well played. It's not your fault you took advantage of a mouse slip. I would do the same. I just want to see what my position was when they traded uh, here. Or here, I should say. One brilliancy! Let's go! Amazing. That's not an easy... See, I was very impressed with that. What's my position? I was up by five. What's my position here? They're like, that's bad. They're like, that's idiotic. We were up by six. All we do is... we. I, I honestly think you can even take with... No, you take with the pawn to create a, a better structure, I think. That's obviously horrible. What if I did this? That's the best, yeah. We, we probably would have won that game if I didn't mouse slip. I know that sounds like copium. But, uh, I mean, you can look at the, the computer chess analysis for yourself and tell me how you feel about that. What, what is this Ross Geller system people are trying to pull these days? I don't get it, the Ross Geller system. I've made a mistake, by the way. I'm, I'm concerned. I don't want to have to be unable to castle, which I have to do if I take with this pawn in either direction. Interesting, interesting. It's very interesting what, what, what people are getting up to these days. It's very interesting. I would rather leave that pawn there and take a move to gain some tempo. I think we want to do this. I didn't even analyze it in the slightest. But it just screws up your king side enough to please me. We're equivalent on material. I'd like to take my move back. <laughs> yes, I'd like to take my move back. That's not a good move. What I just did was not a good move. Let's allow it to happen anyway. Yes, that's the, that's the not a good move part I was talking about. Hmm. Wow, it's amazing how like one bold move like that can leave you looking pretty bad. This is honestly, though, though it may surprise you to hear this, is honestly resignable in its present con condition. I say that as somebody who doesn't really know anything about chess. But I, I look at this position and all I can say is what's happening here. I, honestly, I'm going to resign. I know it seems like it's just pure salt. Show me the eval bar. The eval bar was not as bad as I thought it was. But it felt like there was no play there. Also, here's the thing. I'm playing this for me, not for you. <laughs> so if I'm not having fun with the game, let's just resign that son of a gun, man. Let's, let's send it down. I choose not to decide. This should be easy. This is a four knights game, scotch variation. What do I hate when my opponents do? I hate when they pin my knights. So let's pin this knight. And then take this pawn. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Have I lost my knight? I doubt it. But this is probably not the best position for a knight to be in. I would just like this situation to be resolved. So if you want to en passant gambit me. They don't want to en passant gambit me. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going here. Seems like a much better outpost for me. And then you're covering that. Okay, then, then I'm going here. And then I'm pinning you. So you don't want to take me. Maybe you do. I don't think you do. I still don't think you want to take me, honestly. So then I'm attacking this pawn. I'm getting my pawn back. I'm still getting my pawn back. I want you to make the trade. Even if it costs us a pawn, I want you to make the trade. But do we have to? Why wouldn't we just do this instead? That way we can keep our bishop pair. You better than me? <laughs> yeah, that seems right. Okay. Take this. It's a simple calculus. I think we just do this. That way when they play this to force my knight away, I don't lose my bishop. But this, yeah, okay. I mean, we, instead of losing the bishop, we just double a pawn, which is bad, but it's not as bad. 
were equivalent, but they have the bishop pair. And we have some doubled pawns. Pawn structure, yeah, their, their pawn structure is definitely better. I feel like this is not that bad of a position for knights. I feel like my knight can get into some stuff. I want it. Th their center is pretty strong, though. Also, their queen is causing me fits, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't figure out how to generate play. There's nowhere my queen can go. Mm. Let's double up. Let's threaten to trade our knight for two pawns. I really want you to go there. Hold on. Let's just do that. We're just killing time. I really want my knight to go here. Because if it can get to this space, I think it's even more potent. Ah, I can go... I could have done something there, man. I could have been a contender. I don't know. <laughs> That's what are you doing? I resign. I forgot how knights move. Or how pawns move. I always forget how knights move. Oh, no. It's... The great capitulation has begun. No, no, no. The great capitulation has not begun. That's the thing. They want you to think it's begun. This is just a natural regression before actually reaching true greatness. Okay. Let's start playing more on instinct again. That couldn't possibly serve you badly. Would happily. They're going to... They're castle queen side to take advantage of the open file. No, no, no. We don't have to resolve this situation yet. Let's screw up their pawn structure completely. Like, that's just, this is a disaster for you, I hope. <laughs> and then this threatens to win another pawn. Now it no longer threatens to win another pawn. We're going to castle queenside too, though, right? Is that what's happening here? Let's do it early. It's not like they can move their knight anywhere anyway. I think the next move we want to make is like queen here. Threaten this. Find a way to maybe get your knight. Like we can, uh, what's, what's this? What's this you're doing here? We're not up by anything. I don't really want to swap. I don't really want to play this, to be honest with you. I want to play queen there. Okay, here's what I, I'm going to do then. <laughs> I'm just going to bother you. Keep bothering you. Where are you going now? I would, I would have wanted to play that move at some point eventually. Get ready for a discovered attack. It's not like this knight can really go anywhere anyway. Next move right here. What do you do with that? That's, oh, uh, they're no longer in the discovered attack. Oh my God. They spared me? <laughs> they could have, they could have just, uh, they could have just taken my knight. I got so lucky. Your luck saved me. I still feel like I want more, though. <laughs> I, want, I want to be more aggressive. Ah, whatever. Knight for bishop. It's always, it's always a pog trade. Then this is spicy, man. Because they play this, you're like trapped in there. Then you play this. Then they play this. Yeah, it's horrible. It's not a good trade. Your knight's still pinned. Let's keep that going. I think we still want to move queen over to threaten this pawn. You're still pinned. This knight is like, there's nothing it can do, man. It's stuck forever. <laughs> Again? I don't really want to, though, is the thing. Like, I'm... Oh, I, but I do. But I do. I don't really want to make this pawn weak, though. Ah, whatever. Thing is, like, we should be able to pull this one out. We, I think we got a superior position. I think we just won. 
I hope we just won. Thought that was that was a solid move. Wait, I just lost my bishop in the process, though. <laughs> no, did I? Did I? Because I could play that. And I lose a pawn. In, or do I even lose a pawn now that I'm looking at it? Because hold on, now I'm like, look at this. Now I'm putting your bishop under attack, and now I'm taking your pawn. And now I'm taking your other pawn. We got a lot out of that. Okay, I'm going here. I'm going to try to force a swap. We should be good. Okay, this is like, genuinely, this is a nice little confidence booster, I think. I'm not suggesting we've, we've won the game. I think that's disingenuous. What I am suggesting... Ooh, you got some doubled pawns, man. What I am suggesting is that we're going to win the game. They can't take these pawns yet. Because it, 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 that must be like a plus 10. It, plus 18. Because, like, here's the thing. If... Let's say they just move that. Okay, just as a hypothetical. We just play this. Their king can never take these pawns. We just move our bishop down here. And then this pawn's got this pawn. Our bishop's got this pawn. Then our king just goes buck wild right over here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!